Hivers. Welcome to Honey Bee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're back with video number two of my Paper Pumpkin Alternates for Autumn Abundance September 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit. This is what the kit originally makes. And I'm going to have a few alternates. Today, I'm going to be making two cards. So before we get started on our projects, let's go ahead and go over some buzzworthy business of the day. We have the Nests of Christmas Paper Pumpkin Kit that's going to bake 10 cards. Shaded Spruce is the Stampin' Spot color. This kit is going to coordinate with Nests of Winter Sweet Collection from the uh, mini catalog. We have the Merry Tags and More Dies add-on for $12. These dies are going to coordinate with October, November, and December Paper Pumpkin Kits. You have until the 10th of October to subscribe to get this particular paper pumpkin kit. And there is a link in the description box below for you to sign up for the paper pumpkin. If this is your very first time ever signing up with the paper pumpkin, go ahead and use the code HOLIDAY40 and you'll get 40% off of this particular kit, okay? Next, we have September 2024 host code. This is the code I want you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, don't use this host code because you're going to qualify for Stampin' Rewards. And Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stampin' Up. And of course, I don't want you to miss out on any of your freebies, all right? That is all of our buzzworthy business of the day. So let's go ahead and get started on these quick alternates. So the first one, we have a card base here of Crushed Curry. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And we're going to burnish that score line down. I went ahead and put in our inside, very vanilla, three and a half by four and three fourths, and a scrap of the card front to decorate our inside, okay? So for this first card, just like the last video, I just took our original card base that I made in our reveal video and cut it down to five and a quarter by four. And we're going to mount this on a piece of early espresso. That is four and an eighth by five and um, three eighths. So we're just gonna take this and layer it on that. So this one is gonna be very quick and simple because we're just taking the um, card base and cut it in half and mounted it on a layer and give it in a different card base, okay? So, but what that did is gave me the back side of the card to make another alternate with. So we're gonna add embellishments at the end. So our second card is gonna have a early espresso base, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I've gone ahead and done that inside the same very vanilla four and three fourths by three and a half, a tiny strip of the card bases that, um was left over when I cut it down. So this side, I cut down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths, okay? And we're just going to layer this right onto our card base. This is gonna be a very simple card, but I really like it. So I want my tree rings in this orientation, just like this. Then we're gonna do a little bit of stamping so I have a piece of very vanilla here. This is um, a half inch by two and seven eighths. And we're going to get some early espresso ink and our stamp from our kit that says with thanks. So it's gonna have the same sentiment as the original. And we're just gonna put that in there. I guess I should move that so I can get my stamp down. So it says with thanks. And we're going to layer that on some early espresso that is um, three by five eighths. So five eighths by three inches. Just gonna layer this onto our early espresso. Like so. Okay, then I have some Poppy Parade here and some Scrap Basic White. And I'm just gonna demonstrate. I took the leaves from the stamp set and I did Poppy Parade in that leaf. And where's the other leaf? I did different colors, so, but I'm just showing you what the leaves look like stamped. Aren't they pretty? Okay, so I stamped them in Poppy Parade Night of Navy, Pumpkin Pie, and Wild Wheat. 
So these are the leaves that I have, okay? I um, There are no dyes for these leaves, so I, you do have to fussy cut them, okay? So what I'm gonna do, get my glue, and we're gonna put a knight, in, knight of navy leaf. I'm gonna put this right here. Then we're gonna get our pumpkin pie, right? No, our poppy parade. We're gonna put that one right there. Oop, not too far over. Then we're gonna get our wild wheat. Come on. Oh, I got ink on my finger and I didn't even see. There. Then we're gonna have our pumpkin pie. Just like that. Then we're gonna get some Stampin' Dimensionals to pop up our sentiment. So let's just turn that over. That's bothering me. <laughs> that ink on my fingernail. So we're gonna put a few dimensionals on here. I'm gonna pop this up onto our card right over this. So I want it towards the end on one side. I, didn't, I was gonna do it in the middle, but I, I like it better like offset. So we have that. And now, like I said, we're gonna add our embellishment. So these are our two alternates. So again, I have the embellishments that I made with the metallic enamel effects. I let these, um, I just put drops on there and let them dry for a couple of hours. And they were completely dry. I don't know how long it took. I just came back after a couple hours. I guess I need to put glue on here first. So <laughs> let's put one drop right there. Hmm. Uh, I'll do one here. Maybe one on this leaf. Okay. Then on this card... I wanna put one here, that's kinda of big, there, and there. So, you have to do small little droplets of glue because it's gonna, when you put your embellishment on there, it's gonna kinda of smush it down. So you don't want it too big. And my embellishments are not um, all uniform because they are handmade, so I'm not sure like it how to get them all even but I don't think you need to I'm gonna put this one over here since that little patch of glue is a little bit smaller okay uh, let's get a nice size one to go over this blob of glue Whoop. come off there you go and the glue is gonna dry clear so we won't see that I'm gonna put that one right there, just like that. And there you have it. Those are our alternates, video number two. I love those embellishments. Okay, you guys, that's it, that's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I would like to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye. Bye.